Howdy, howdy, good morning, and time for another repair. So I got up, I went to go swap out batteries out of my uh, Aegis Legend here, my my well-used Aegis Legend, and, um, and anyway, uh, the second bank here, the, uh, the negative contact, the spring for it, had clearly snapped, so, uh, I know it's a lot of electronic stuff that I've had go bad lately and uh, I'd be more than happy to show you my skills in other areas but I gotta wait until other stuff breaks so anyway I've had this apart before <clears throat> this is not the first time and I started taking it apart and I thought oh wait uh, shouldn't you like grab a camera because I'm telling you I do all this kind of stuff all the time and I don't think twice about it I just do it and uh, oh, there's not, actually not a screw in that second one. I'm going to go ahead and put a little foot back in there. And my handy dandy screwdriver set. And that's going to be a little smaller screw. We're going to try something like this right here. And we're just going to pop these. I've had this apart before. Um, what else did I do? I know I cleaned it up. <clears throat> oh, I cleaned it up and I cleaned the contacts good because uh, I could tell that they weren't making good contact with the battery. So I just uh, went through batteries here recently. That one's a little walled out, it seems. I just went through batteries here recently uh, to, uh, you know, top them off. You know the drill. And, uh, ah, hang on. I didn't get them all. Anyway, I went through my, <clears throat> my, um, both my shortwave radio and, uh, my camera, my Nikon, takes, uh, double A batteries. So, I have Energizer rechargeables. Ow. that I'll use I love this charger this charger has been a really great charger like I said I've had to clean the contacts up and that's what I was saying I went to go charge those batteries and I could tell that they really weren't getting a good charge on the uh, on the energizer rechargeables so I went and I cleaned up contacts I did just this just like two weeks ago or so cleaned up the, just the contacts. Now I didn't pull it apart for that. I just used sandpaper on the contacts. And then the batteries, the um, poles had a little bit of something on them. And so I uh, I dealt with that. Ooh, we had something pop out there. It's gonna be right there. That screw lug. Okay. So it looks like what happened, there's this plastic piece and I don't think it's the one that fell out. That's the one that fell out. Aha! Uh -huh. Two plastic pieces. So, we have got one down here that broke. And we have got one, I don't know if you can see, up there that broke. <clears throat> but the piece of plastic that I'm looking for is even smaller. It's even smaller. And I'm trying to figure out. Okay, so it's going to get its ground. I wanted to make sure on this of where it was getting its ground at. So it's going to get its ground at this plate here. It's is grounded to the board, right? And um, so that means the spring itself is not part of that grounding. So there is a fairly good chance that if I can find a screw or something the right size to put there um, that I can repair that but that's what happened if you can I'll bring it up closer to the camera here there's supposed to be a little plastic piece right there that the spring goes around that plastic piece apparently this morning snapped so I don't know how thick a plastic we're dealing with right there. I have no idea. Um, I don't believe very thick. 
to be quite honest. Um, in fact, yikes, that's going to be a good one. That is going to be a good one. Let's see. So up here, where you see this piece here, that is going to be uh, your positive tab right there. That's what that's going to be right there. So <clears throat> if you look at this and say, oh, I don't know, that's about a half an inch from there to where that lug was. So you're talking about right there. So I have a feeling that that plastic is really, really thin there. However, what I think I'm going to do to fix it is I think I'm going to grab my drill. I think I'm going to drill a hole right there. Hopefully there's enough meat worth of uh, plastic there that I can then take a small screw and <clears throat> I will put the screw right there you know from this side going that way so the top of the screw is here and then that's where I'll hang the spring back so that I can get this one back working again so yepper yepper but yeah I mean everything works with contact so um, probably not a bad idea I actually take all these apart and uh, while I've got it apart give it another good cleaning you know what I mean so because they'll all pop out of there anywho let me uh, let me go grab my bucket of screws and my drill and some bits and I'll see what I can come up with once I find uh, the components I'm going to try to do this with then uh, I'll bring you back along to uh, see the repair. So, again, sorry it's another electronics thing. I can't help that. Whatever goes, goes. I just have to deal with it. Here's that piece right there. So, I may actually, since I do have the piece, I may actually try to drill a small hole. It looks like there is a hole. I don't think it goes all the way through or anything it might but I'm gonna see if I can find a tiny tiny screw that might be able to even screw this lug back on so I'm gonna try we'll see I will uh, I will speak to you once I find uh, get my tools together and uh, find a screw the right side okay welcome back and I apparently forgot to turn on my lapel mic my apologies for that it's kind of too late to kind of do half of it with my lapel mic and the other half not but uh, it's okay the um, the microphone on the uh, DJI pocket 2 is absolutely incredible I should say the microphones because they've got several anywho I think we'll be fine so what I'm going to do is I drilled my hole and I know I didn't show that, I just drilled a hole, right? I used my smallest bit and uh, that's all I did, I drilled a hole, not that big of a deal. You didn't miss out anything major. So I'm going to take the screw, one of the screws by the way, I'm just going with one of the screws that came with the system and yes I saw the spring fell. Um, one of the screws that just came with the system, so anywho, since I've got two broken lugs anyway that aren't going to, you know. The screw's not going to be useful. Since those screws are the right size, that prevents me from digging for God knows how long to find one. And, like I say, it's right, the right size of what I need. Worst case scenario is I might have to uh, cut off it, cut off the end a little bit because it might stick down too far. Well, I'm going to lift it up off the table so I don't screw it down to the table. And that little screw head there sticking up is not going to be an issue. It's not going to cause it not to charge or anything like that. It'll lay in there good enough to charge. It'll be fine. <clears throat> and a little further down I can go. My fingernail went up under there just a hair, so... There we go. I felt it snug up there. I don't want to strip it out, so I uh, wanted to be very careful there not to strip it out. 
So, and fun times. Fun, fun time. This one here, like I say, it'll just go up on this screw just like that. And I don't, I don't think I'm gonna have to cut it off or nothing. I think it's gonna be fine. Yep. Believe it's gonna be fine. So we've got this spring here that came loose. Looks like there's two springs that we gotta hunt down. Well, I've got one. Put these back down. These are, like I say, this is what makes the negative contact to the uh, to the sleds there. Those are what you call sleds. And pretty simple. You just well, it's supposed to be pretty simple. You just stick this down in that hole there and get it to catch. And probably actually supposed to go in this way. And attach that up there. <coughs> and here's our other spring here. And it will do the same. Take it in like that. Oop, I missed it. I know you guys can't see because my fat hand's in the way. So there's a hole there where that contact rides on that sled. There we go. And you just have to get it caught in there. Like that. Pretty, pretty simple. Whoa, I popped that spring out. I shouldn't have probably been playing with it so much put it back in see I thought what happened is I thought just the uh, the loop on the spring I figured that it snapped and that it was going to just basically be a matter of me bending another loop out of the spring so that I could make another attachment point but uh, that wasn't the case it actually broke the plastic keeper off that holds the spring so now they're all four there. They're all four good to go. I'm going to take those off because I won't need them. And let's see. It's the bottom one and that one. I'm remembering which ones I can tell from the top. So we're going to set this down. All gentle-like. Set right in place. I'm going to go ahead and start popping us some screws in. ready to go in another one here I should only be shy one screw but I don't need two of them so I, mean, I could put the screw in but it's not gonna hold mine just gonna be for looks I'll probably put it in there for looks just in case I have to uh, do that again on another one of the springs so this is what it's about folks and and you know this is my 18650 charger it's not my only one no but if I were to lose this how how bad would that affect my preparedness if I were to lose this 18650 charger again I've got others that's not an issue but this is actually my best four bay charger right here this is the best one I've got so if I were to lose it then what you know I've been wanting to get another one of these I'm just bumming though I don't know <laughs> There's a lot of preps I need to get and uh, yeah it ain't gonna happen I don't think but I wanted to replace these they're like around 35 bucks and I highly recommend this one uh, it's, it's been working great for a while uh, the thing is, is everything these days is made cheap, and <laughs> everything's limited time only, especially if you don't know how to repair it. So, there you go. That's the one I put the screw in. So, uh-oh. Well, I guess I'm pulling it back out. So that one popped out. And, uh, let me see. It was probably, oh, that was the one over there. Okay. So, I guess we're pulling screws back out. 
that we can get that one back right. Fine with me, it's not that big of a deal. It gives me a chance, by the way. What I did is I took my, my best SD card was in my Mavic Air 2 drone. And I have a hunch that my SD card is what was causing problems with my camera to stop recording. Just out of the blue, it would just blink, shut off. And, uh, you know, Pocket 2s can have an overheating issue, uh, but I wasn't getting, because it tells you, it tells you that it's getting hot. And uh, no, didn't didn't warn me nothing. It would just shut the recording off, like you push the button. Somebody else not long ago uh, mentioned the issue in one of the DJI pocket groups, and a lot of people came back to him and told him, well, um, it's because of uh, that one snapped. No, it didn't. Um, Tell him it's because his SD card was either going bad or, you know, he didn't have one that was actually good enough to use with it. And uh, I don't know if that ever solved his problem or not. I didn't see anything more, and I can't find the post. I've looked for it. Uh, and uh, anyway, so I just went with that assumption that it, that could be the issue. See, it's catching. I got to get it spun around because it's catching on that. Yeah, I might have spun it around. Hang on, let me see if I can get it up there. Of course, I'm sitting there holding tension on it with my finger because I'm a genius. Okay, so. Mm -hmm. Get back on your peg. And everybody remain on your pegs. Nobody leave a peg. Oh, put that back down. And it is essential that you do have this case screwed together good. And the reason why is because it's that pressure of that case uh, clam shelling together that holds those contacts. Because you got to remember on that negative sled, all you've got is a strip piece of metal with a wire sold soldered to it that's laying on top of another piece of metal. And that is the only thing you have along the lines of a contact. So that's why I was saying it, those got dirty and so I took it apart and I cleaned it up. Uh, that's why, because you have to make sure that those parts are clean. I should have probably cleaned it when I had it apart, but oh well. Um, make sure they're clean and uh, make sure that whatever it is that holds those parts together it's holding them together efficiently and if it's not then you need to remedy the situation put something in there for a spacer or what have you uh, just to be able to hold those components together tightly so hopefully I get my screws in and I flip it over and do that again and hopefully I don't pop it right out so, like I say not a big deal what what is a big deal is knowing how to do this stuff folks it's one thing to do what is considered just maintenance okay like oh I don't know cleaning crap out of your screens of your your dishwasher for example that's maintenance that's really not repair that's maintenance a little bit of a difference I'm just saying right a little bit of, of a difference um, Let's see. But, you know, I mean, it doesn't mean that you shouldn't pat yourself on the back for being able to fix your dishwasher. Just need to understand there's a difference in actually fixing a dishwasher and, and, and just doing something that's considered maintenance that you should have been keeping up on uh, from, from go. But, hey, yeah, yeah, you know, what do I know? Just a guy who's actually done this all their life. That's all. What could I know? Anyway, I don't see that other screw. Oh, there it is. I am going to go ahead and pop it in. And for good measures, I'm just going to throw one of those rubber feet on anyway. Use this one because it's got the most lip to be able to hold the little rubber footy. 
Little rubber pony. Or little rubber pony. I can't sing. I should not try to sing. Extra parts. Along with that extra part. So we've got sledage. 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 Okay, our sleds are working. Yay! So there you go. There you go. When they say improvise, adapt, and overcome. If you don't learn how to do it, well then you're probably just gonna be screwed. Shalom.